Hi everybody, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator on the PC and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a steam catapult and a rest of the cable to the aircraft carriers that are included in the LVFR Aircraft Carriers Global DLC. If you've already got the George H.W. Bush um, carrier and you followed the instructions to download the extra little bit of software that you can get um, that's free um, that gives you a catapult basically on the, the George W the George H W Bush. The same things apply to aircraft carriers global. So basically I'll put a link in the description below the video, but what you do is you download this little bit of software that you see here, and then you fire it up and it gives you this little extra bit of software that connects with Microsoft Flight Simulator to give your aircraft a speed boost when it takes off from the carrier or anywhere else and then gives you basically a break so that when you land it stops it really qu quick sort of simulating the idea of a um of a, a, st a steam catapult so let's dive in and let's go here so what have we got here we have what's this this is the abraham lincoln so yeah so let's go down here and i'll kind of show you how it works now just bear in mind that when i do this when I go to full throttle to take off, the audio might get a little bit, it might be a little bit difficult to, to hear my voice. Um, but it's quite clever the way this works. Um, I quite enjoy it. So here we are. So I've got my, um, here's my Tomcat ready to go. And we do know that you can go to full afterburner and you can take off from the carriers starting from right from the back of the deck. Obviously this isn't how ca uh, airplanes would take off from carriers. They would go off from one of the steam catapults at the front. Um, but what we can do is when you fire up this software you can then connect it um, and then we want to go on the catapult and then you have your takeoff speed so you can put whatever you want it to try and boost your aircraft to to get it off the deck but what we want to do is you know for immersion let's um, just move our Tomcat to the front of the carrier so it's on one of the uh, one of the catapults and you'll get an idea because if you normally try and do this without this extra little bit of software your Tomcat Sometimes you can make it with full flaps and you know full afterburner, but a lot of the time you'll just fall off the end and you you hit, you hit the you hit the sea, which isn't particularly good. Where this gives you the uh, that really fast rush. So we will move up to one of the um, the bow cat bow cat. Would this be something like that? There we go. Let's slow down a bit. I'm ready to put the brake on. There we go. So we're right at the front. Unfortunately, there's no animations to put the um, the blaster things up. But so, so now we say right, we're ready to launch. And then what we're going to do is now we're going to go to full full throttle, full afterburner, if we can. As soon as it starts moving forward, we're going to disconnect the brake, and you'll see the speed boost we get off the off the end of the carrier. So here we go, full engines, all the way. Starts to move, brakes off. There we go, and we get that top gun effect of taking off the carrier super super fast and you do this similar thing when you want to come into land you just bring up the software you know I just I'm just alt tabbing around um, and uh, take your rest of the hook down tell it you're coming into land and then hit the deck and it'll apply that kind of break which means but I haven't really tested it I think this means that anywhere you, you know any airfield or airport that you want to take off from you can simulate the idea of having a, uh, a catapult on a rest of the hook might be cool. Um, what I'll probably have to do is practice on Gibraltar. Gibraltar is a great place to, to practice short takeoff and landing because it's not as small as a carrier in terms of the, um, the the runway, but it's still pretty short. And you can kind of take off, fly around the rock, and then land, and you can keep going to doing sort of touch and goes. But there we go. I'll put a link to the software in the description below the video. Remember, it is free, um, and it enables you to add catapults and rest hooks to LVFR but just remember this is PC only unfortunately you can't add this to, to Xbox. It's a bit of a bummer. Anyway that's enough from me. If you like the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon.